Hello friends, welcome to our channel, CBSE English, the topper's choice. In today's video, we are going to discuss class 12th, third poem from the English reader, Flamingo, Keeping Quiet. At the beginning, we'll talk about the poet of this poem. Pablo Neruda is the poet of this poem. He was born in 1904 and died in 1973. Pablo Neruda is the pen name of Neftali Ricardo Reyes Basalto. He was born in the town of Peral in Chile. Neruda's poems are full of easily understood images which make them no less beautiful. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1971. In this poem, Naruda talks about the necessity of quiet introspection and creating a feeling of mutual understanding among human beings. Introduction to this poem. The poem, Keeping Quiet, written by Pablo Naruda, discusses the need of maintaining peace and silence. He stresses upon being quiet and harmless to the human beings, animals and environment. He suggests that in order to maintain peace and harmony, it is required to stop and introspect ourselves. Theme of this poem, the poet Pablo Neruda urges mankind to cease all activities for a little while. During these few moments of silence and inactivity, all human beings would be one, united and in harmony with each other and nature. This togetherness and oneness is the most desirable and the survival of the earth and of human beings. Naruda believes that the soul housed within the human body is capable of performing this feat if given a chance to shine out through introspection, for which absolute silence and stillness is essential. Summary of this poem The poet wants us to keep still till he counts up to twelve. For once, let us not talk in any language on this earth. He asks us to stop moving our arms so much for one second. Let there be no rush or hurry for a second. Engines and other machines must stop for a moment. That moment will be a fascinating moment for all of us. Then all of us shall enjoy the sudden strangeness of the moment together. The poet wants that the fishermen would not harm the whales in the cold sea of polar regions. Even the man gathering salt with his own hands must take care of his hurt hands. All kinds of wars must be stopped at once. The green wars against the environment, wars with poisonous gases, and wars with firearms must be stopped now. In such wars, victory is meaningless as there are no survivors left after the war. Instead of fighting and waging wars, people should come out in their best dresses. They must go out for a walk with their brothers. They must move about under the shady trees and enjoy doing nothing. The poet does not want that we should confuse stillness with total inactivity. During nothing at all, would amount to death. The poet has 
no association with death. We think that life is to move about. We should not be always on the move. For a while, we should also take rest. A long silence can do us a lot of good. Men become sad when they fail to understand themselves. They feel helpless when they threaten themselves with death. A long silence can soothe our feelings and help us in removing this sadness. The poet gives an example to illustrate the idea that stillness does not mean total inactivity. The earth can teach us a lesson. When everything seems dead, the earth remains alive. The poet asks us to keep quiet till he counts twelve, then he will go. Now we will discuss the poetic devices used in this poem. Number one, alliteration. Alliteration means the repetition of consonant sounds, especially at the beginning of the words. It is used in these lines of the poem. We will, we would, here, w, this consonant sound is repeated. Sudden strangeness, s sound is repeated. His hurt hands, her sound is repeated. Wars with, w sound is repeated. Clean clothes, k sound is repeated. We were, again, w sound is repeated. So single minded. Here, S sound is repeated. Number two, assonance. Assonance means the use of words that have the same or very similar vowel sounds near one another. This has been used in these lines of the poem. Now we will count to twelve. Not move our arms so much. Victory with no survivors. Would put on clean clothes. Number three, anaphora. Anaphora means the repetition of a word or phrase at the beginning of a series of clauses or sentences. And this has been used in these lines of the poem. Let's not speak in any language. Let's stop for one second. Number four, repetition. Repetition means the repeated use of word or word pattern. For example, wars. This word is repeated in the poem. Those who prepare green wars. Wars with gas. Wars with fire. Number five. Transferred epithet. Transferred epithet means a figure of speech in which an epithet means what? An adjective grammatically qualifies a noun other than the person or thing it is actually describing. It has been used in these lines of the poem. Cold sea. Now we'll discuss the main points of the poem. According to the poet, keeping still and quiet will facilitate introspection and a feeling of universal harmony. The use of number 12 can be associated with 12 hours of the clock or number of months in a year, completion of a cycle. The poet says that silence will be exotic because it will be a blissful moment, a near divine experience when we all will be together. 
in that exotic moment even the fishermen who represent the people who kill and harm other creatures would not harm the whales salt gatherers represent those adding comforts to life by green wars the poet means waging war against our green zone that is exploitation of nature by human beings by wars with gas wars with fire the poet means new weapons of mass destructions like wars with atomic or nuclear bombs or wars with chemicals the poet believes in life so he is against total inactivity he only wants to interrupt the sad and cruel activities of the world inactivity is death and activity is the essence of life so whatever is emphasized upon by him is connected with life not death we can learn a lot from nature the poet involves the symbol of mother earth to reinforce his idea that there is wisdom and activity in tranquility and peace the earth is calm and soothing things appear to be dormant but actually are constantly active the poet states that we must try to understand what life means in terms of activities that is which actions are worthy of being done and which are not so friends if you have liked this video please click on like subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get more videos like this thank you very much for watching